so here it is my uh, super compass is all rigged up and ready for the 2024 season uh, I wanted to do this from the launch site or a little bit more scenic but uh, I either didn't have all the stuff with me or something always goes on so I'm gonna do this from my garage again sorry the GoPro picks up a little bit of the noise from the street but uh, this is pretty much how I have it rigged up and ready to attack the 2024 so starting from the front again you have to do the kill guard for sure uh, I recommend uh, the thinner uh, 0.06 kydex it just molds uh, super easily and it's uh, thick enough uh, on the front I have this uh, 1100 paracord um, it's just how I transport uh, when I roof uh, when I roof top it uh, the straps kind of eat uh, through the through the handle uh, paracord so I always have like something else so I can tie my front uh, and back uh, straps and also when I have it like that it doesn't give any extra tension on the pad eye it just pulls down on the kayak when it's tied up on the front um, as far as the kill bag I just have a clip over here that clips in and on the sides on both sides I have also clips I still haven't put uh, pad eyes over here I don't have any access to the hole from this side so uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably do the self-tapping screws and the pad eyes at some point uh, Just gotta figure out the exact position that I want it um, I am not gonna be putting a square I mean the round hatch uh, On this thing. I just don't want any water coming in um, I had this problem with the Outback uh, water It's not that big of a deal, but uh, one or two cups of water uh, it's kind of annoying when you have uh, inside the kayak um, I am always in the ocean but for those of you guys that uh, fish uh, in California here at least in the lakes uh, before you launch uh, your kayak you need to be bone dry for the inspection for the snail uh, thing so let's say if I was fishing one day in the ocean and uh, I was getting water in and then uh, the next day I want to go to the lake um, go to really play around and have to dry it completely from the inside which is kind of annoying not really a problem for me but now this compass is super dry inside there is absolutely uh, no water going in from anywhere it's pretty much as good as an old town um, not really but yeah um, the turbo fins I kept from my Outback <laughs> so I saw the Outback with the regular fins so I kept the turbo fins and I also have the steel cables on the on the poles always leash it I have a pad I added over there for the camera stuff, uh, I'm trying out the new longer extended battery thing. It's uh, made by Refuel. It's supposed to last like for six, seven hours. Uh, my SD card is pretty big, so I don't think I'll have it running for that long. But now at least I can have it on uh, most of the time on and. Uh, and just uh, have it on voice uh, command without draining the battery we'll have uh, longer footage of uh, the actual strikes and uh, hopefully footage I you know I forget to turn the camera on I lost quite a few fish uh, in 2023 trying to play with my GoPro while I was getting a, a bite um, so now I won't have to worry about this the only problem is again there is always a draw fall um, when you shoot for two three four hours continuously it's a lot of fun to edit after that going through all the boring footage and cutting all the 
the important stuff so but we'll see how this goes um, for the fish finder finally was able to figure out what I need to do um, the compass has a small uh, Lorentz uh, cavity so I'm not running a, a side scan I only use down scan, down scan so right now I have a GT20 transducer um, on the bottom and I did have to actually modify the bracket to make it fit but it's uh, everything works perfect um, one thing for the transducer installation if you haven't drilled yet um, I wasn't really thinking before I did it and uh, I would have gone with the other uh, plug uh, not the, with the screws but the one that goes uh, that screws on the back just like the one that's uh, underneath uh, the transducer under the um, uh, for the for the transducer cable from underneath um, there is easy access to go behind and just screw it and uh, you won't have to worry about stripping these screws and uh, if you have to change transducers and take this uh, in and out multiple times you won't have to worry about the little screws it just makes more sense to have the one inch hole with the with the screwing thing and uh, that's probably one thing I would I would have not done if I was thinking straight um, for trolling for halibut and uh, most stuff I like having my rod on the front um, using the AR uh, uh, yak attack uh, rock holder it's nice to have your rod uh, high and uh, above the pedals and in front of you so you don't have to turn around and uh, miss strikes um, going inside you do have to have the square hatch that's a must and I like going the horizontal way just because of uh, easier access on the outback it was vertical and uh, I didn't like that um, again in my previous video I mentioned that I had to discipline this thing and melt it a little bit otherwise uh, the hatch does not close perfectly or does not close at all so you either uh, some people actually what they do is they put extra foam to um, I don't know what it's called that's like hull collapse uh, so it kind of expand uh, the thing but uh, I just found it easy to just melt the the tray so now it fits fine inside one thing that I mentioned that I love about the compass versus my Outback now I can put bigger storage boxes underneath over here uh, this is what I usually carry for the day uh, uh, spares, uh, my extra rigs, uh, stuff I really don't want access to but I want to bring with me just in case um, so this finds a home over here plenty of room for more than enough stuff uh, my battery stays on the side I just uh, stapled the double sided velcro and I have a patch over there so it just stays in there perfectly there is no water even though if it's water it's fine um, down there uh, so it just stays on the velcro without sliding all over the place and it's perfect uh, on the other side I have uh, just a dry box uh, that I usually put my phone my keys and my wallet I have a dry bag that I always have a spare some kind of clothing uh, let's see I have a just a warm beanie and there's a just a light uh, wind stopper and a hoodie that stays in there and also my bilge pump is back here just in case um, everything is kind of clipped uh, so it doesn't slide all over the place
Um, one thing that I'll be doing a lot more this year is uh, more surf launches. So even though I put a lot of the electric grease on my cable ends, um, I kind of wanted it to not get uh, super soaked from the surf. So I made uh, this little sacrifice of this uh, dollar box. Hopefully it works. Um, and then uh, all my rods are gonna be stored on the side when surf launching and reels and fish finder are gonna go in a dry bag. No more coffee grinders. I'm tired of uh, messing up my reels. Uh, so far I'm 50-50 eating shit on the surf and every time my reels fill up with sand. So from now on they're gonna be strapped vertically over here. I mean not vertically, uh, they're gonna be strapped on the side of the kayak without the reels. And uh, I just had to put a little extra paracord on this thing. So now I can put two rods over here, which is probably what I'll be carrying uh, when uh, surf launching. And uh, yeah, it works perfect. It's, they're just gonna stay flat so they don't break. Reels again in the some kind of a dry bag and somewhere um, for the seat my pliers are sitting over here in the shear perfectly um, water bottle you do have to have something over here otherwise this sucks so I have this plastic handle that where my bottle stays in place um, I do use a lot of uh, I do use my shirt just cutting bait and bleeding fish and they stay over here in the hole the scupper hole uh, so they don't move around and they're really close to me I like using all the holes and um, whoopsie Um, the game clip always open clipped uh, on the seat it stays perfectly it doesn't go forward it doesn't uh, catch on anything it's perfect to immediately get it out without turning around and look for where it is it stays under my seat uh, I always have like a box with uh, some of the junk that uh, I'll be using for the day um, so I don't have to open and look for stuff so it fits perfectly under the it's one of those 3700 uh, plano boxes it fits perfectly under the seat and uh, so yeah I'll have most of the stuff over here for the day and also this is completely empty so I'll be able to throw stuff in the bucket uh, my, my leaders, my line and some of the rigs that uh, I take out and just dump it in the in the bucket it's plenty of space also the catch board the Yaka, the Yaka gear uh, measuring board perfectly goes inside over here and tucks away um, for the seat you do have to my straps were short so I had to uh, add a little paracord I mean just like a couple of loops um, these uh, things are super annoying when you have to clip on it so this pretty much solves both my problems uh, I can clip in easily to them and also I can recline the seat a little bit back uh, as far as I want to without uh, so yeah, the, the straps are kind of short for that reason. Also, a lot of people complain about their butts going on the plastic thing. Um, this wants to fall down, hold on. Uh, their butts go in the plastic thing. Um, that only happens when you recline the seat uh, way, way back. I usually don't, I have, I have the seat kind of forward all the time because it's easier for me to to pedal um, 
but I did add uh, just one of those electrical foam things just in case um, and that kind of helps uh, also a lot of people put like straps for the seat when they I guess a lot of people uh, uh, side fish or get up, get up the seat or when you actually push your kayak through the surf and try to jump on the kayak the seat always falls down so they put straps on the back you don't really need to do that there are screws on each side that you can actually tighten so the so your seat does not fall easily so there is no need for straps on the back um, going back what else did I throw? Oh, uh, a couple of bad eyes. I like strapping all my rods uh, with leashes, so I usually will transfer them from back and forward and uh, from different places, but they always stay strapped somewhere. Um, one addition I did to the recently was adding those two uh, ram tubes. Um, again, there is no access, easy access. Uh, because there is no back hatch also uh, this was a real pain um, to reach out and uh, actually install it took me probably two three hours by myself playing with a long uh, ratchet trying to align the screws I was only able to put uh, one uh, washer as a backing from uh, from from all from both sides I, so I have one washer somewhere over here and one washer over there everything else is just with the black uh, black tied nuts on the back um, yeah it was a real pain to install it's just that uh, it's a hard hard uh, kind of a angle to reach under and um, yeah, I don't know if I'll recommend you guys doing this, but uh, I'm happy I was able to get it done. Um, the idea for that was um, on the outback, I had a little bit more space on the, on the side over here. So every time I was landing a fish, I was able to either rest uh, my rod next to my seat or somewhere. On this thing, I don't have any space. So now I can have actually the these tubes either this way so I can always uh, put my rod immediately while I'm handling the fish uh, or I might use them as a trolling solution even though I usually don't throw more than one rod and I use the front uh, um, the front uh, mount always and uh, but sometimes also I do not uh, bring the the live uh, the live well and uh, having the rods just two more extra spaces to put rods on the back and also having them stay straight that way I'm not uh, rod fighting with my buddies when I get close to their kayaks if they stay perfectly upright uh, above the water a little bit close to my seat so I can get them in and out easily and uh, yeah two more uh, solutions so if you have a friend that has long arms or somebody that's willing to help you to probably play with the ratchet uh, with the extension underneath and do something like that I say go for it but please don't drill your kayak and uh, contact me for with hate messages this was very difficult to do um, for my net now it has a space over here it always stays there i have the flag on on it um i do have the yak attack uh, carbon busy pole or whatever that thing is but then again uh there it's another thing so i usually don't run the light so i have my flag over here on the on the net the gaff uh, stays on this side perfectly so i can reach it I stopped using the tennis balls uh, as a protector over here. I now use just the tubing. Um, when I have it strapped down over here, going in and out to surf, 
uh, for some reason the waves always uh, knock the ball off uh, the gaff and this thing stays exposed so I really don't want to see this uh, exposed when I'm going through surf so now I only use the tubing um, the compass has enough space on the back for the live well and that's perfect because I'll be doing a lot of uh, yellowtail and halibut live bait fishing this year and the live well is perfect for the back um, the outback had a little bit more space but I don't really need more space this is all the space I need um, I just have uh, I did change the the two pad eyes over here there's like now these uh, things that I can clip in uh, the bungee and I just uh, wrap it once and again on the other side is the same way um, the wheels I usually try to leave them in the car not to bring them with me and but sometimes you kind of have to depends of uh, the situation so I just have a bungee that I wrap around from one side to the other and uh, they're going nowhere um, the back also um, for the roof topping uh, strapping I have a this is where I tie the back of the kayak to my hitch uh, so it doesn't uh, move around for extra safety um, aluminum rudder that was on my outback um, not sure how much that helps but all the cool kids are doing it so aluminum rudder it is um, this is one thing that I added and that's one thing I'm most happy about recently uh, coming from an outback all of you guys love those handles uh, the outback handle on the back and how you can lift it and how you can move it around and that's one thing I was missing that the compass does not have so I came with this solution so the idea was um, because of the rudder situation the way it is uh, every time you have to move the kayak lift it uh, to to, car, uh, to to either um, put it on the cart uh, you do have to lift it from the back because if you lift it from the from the front uh, all the weight goes on the rudder so you have to lift it from the from the back every time you lift it from the back uh, the way the kayak is loaded um, it's not it's never perfectly leveled so it would always tip to one side and dump all your gear or just be super annoying um, having that nice handle on the outback uh, solved that problem but now that this thing does not have it uh, I just ordered some uh, these are the just for inflatable boats uh, handles and I marine gooped them um, it took uh, a little bit of effort to dry because I might have used a little too much marine goop but uh, they came out perfect so now I can lift the uh, I can lift the kayak from the back and put it on my cart um, without any problems and I'll show you in a little bit how how it works but yeah super excited about these um, going around you always have to have a pee bottle unless you want to hold it or pee in your kayak the Burley Pro raised handle I ended up getting that one because that one's the one on sale. I'm pretty sure that uh, both of their versions are awesome. Um, so far I've been loving this one. Um, makes it so much easier to steer and uh, makes it not uh, so much uh, when you have only one uh, 
decided steering now on the compass so, so it doesn't suck as much. Uh, the only problem I had with this is uh, the handle itself uh, gets a little loose. Uh, I guess the screw that's provided either with the compass that comes with the stuck handle or the one that they provide with the Burley Pro, uh, it's not long enough. So when using uh, blue, lo blue Loctite, um, it just the screw is not long enough to get a really good hold of the thing so in no, uh, after a couple of uh, days of use it gets loose um, I did manage to find a tiny bit longer screw so I'll try that at, I'll give that a go uh, but so far this handle is super nice and uh, easy to use okay so I'll lift it by the handle the rear handle first and you see what that would do so immediately goes to one side and wants to dump all the gear uh, making it very difficult uh, to move around the kayak and put it on the wheels I usually have my cart a little bit sideways toward the middle so I have to lift the kayak and kind of move it uh, pretty much from uh, 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock I guess <laughs> so I'll use the rear handles uh, that I installed right now so you can see how much easier it is to do it So yeah, there we go. Perfectly on the cart. Um, I always run a strap also. So you put one strap uh, that goes uh, through the cart and uh, the kayak. That way you can drag it on sand or anything without uh, the wheels uh, slipping backwards. But yeah, this thing sucks for uh, sucks big time. It's useless. Uh, pretty much good uh, enough uh, for nothing. Just to drag your kayak maybe backwards on the sand. Um, but if you want to lift it, immediately everything goes to the one side. It's just how it is. You know, it's uh, the bow of the kayak is uh, pointy and immediately dumps to one side so now having these two handles is the best thing ever i no longer miss my outback so that's pretty much it let me know if there's any questions i think i managed to cover everything without um missing on anything I really don't think I'm going to be doing anything else other than uh, drilling a little more holes for the pad eyes over here but that's pretty much going to be it so the compass so far I've been loving it very happy I made the switch from an Outback uh, pretty much every time you use it you learn something different that you might want to customize or switch or or do but so far I love the compass would appreciate a like on the video thank you have a good one